Deputy President William Ruto last evening confirmed President Uhuru Kenyatta ditched him soon after the Jubilee administration was re-elected in 2017 and he had been reduced to an outsider in government. Ruto claimed President Kenyatta's decision to bring on board a set of new advisors had altered their relationship and that his input was no longer considered in the running of government. And as Francis Gashiri reports, the deputy president dismissed talk of a looming alliance with ODM leader Raila Odinga while confirming the United Democratic Alliance UDA as his political vehicle in next year's State House race after he was declared persona non grata at Jubilee headquarters. The Deputy President William Ruto is an outsider in a government he helped establish for a second time in 2017 has been an open secret, a position he finally acknowledged in an extensive interview with Citizen TV's Lina Skaikai Thursday night. My space, the space I occupied uh, before, was taken up by other people who were now advising the President on how to move things forward. And also, um, the priorities changed. Uh, because now it became urgent to change the constitution. No. And we've been at it now for four years. The Uhuruto bromance of 2013 to 2017, replaced by an acrimonious fallout with the deputy president's critics, accusing him of undermining the president and creating a parallel structure in the Jubilee administration ostensibly to build his 2022 Kenyatta succession base. I, and I even sat down with the president one time and I told him, this is my style. This is me. You found me this way. I have worked with you this way from the time we started. Isolated and rendered a stranger in government, pressure has been mounting on Ruto to resign amid accusations of sabotaging the executive. Do you have intentions to invoke Article 148.8 and say, as DP, I'm resigning? I am not yet there because uh, there are people who believe that uh, they can push me to resign. I am not going to give them the opportunity for them to celebrate their effort to push me out of this government. I will not give them that chance. To dilute Ruto's influence in government, the president, through a series of executive orders, elevated Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi's stature in government, while on the political front, an extensive purge was launched to tame perceived dissent in the Jubilee Party. Uh, some team, a cabal of sorts, came up with a Stop Ruto movement. And uh, you, you heard it, uh, Morades of this world, uh, started to say uh, all manner of things that we are going to create a movement to stop Ruto. And they executed their plan. They started first to try and demonize me. Oh, William Ruto is corrupt. Oh, uh, we are going to do a lifestyle audit. Ruto's critics, however, accuse him of impatience and exhibiting raw hunger for power, while others term him a victim of the vice president's curse. And I, and I even asked the president, my boss, this. I want it, uh, any information to be produced that I have done in private or in public to disrespect the president or to elevate my, uh, myself beyond what my duties are. And the president was candid with me. He told me there is no such information because the director of intelligence was sitting there. I told the director of intelligence, can you, tell, can you produce any information? that you have, that in private or in public, I have disrespected the president or tried to be the person I'm not. In the 2013 and 2017 presidential campaigns, President Kenyatta had pitched for his two terms stint at State House and a subsequent two terms for Ruto, a position that has seemingly been vacated. He remains uh, my friend. Whether he supports my bid, that is if I run for president next year, or if he does not. And I have said categorically that the president owes me no debt. That if he doesn't support me, I will take no offense. 
with his allies kicked out of key parliamentary slots and Jubilee party organs, Ruto has refurbished UDA to anchor his 2022 presidential bid. I go to Jubilee at Kotas as a deputy party leader. I mean, and then they say the deputy party leader is persona non grata. Really? So in the event that Jubilee is not available, the next best option is UDA, which has which shares, uh, because uh, U, uh, UDA has been working with Jubilee uh, from before. Talk of a looming Ruto Odinga political alliance, fueled by the deputy president's meeting with ODM deputy party leader and Kakamega governor weekly for Paranya last week. Have we had a discussion with Raila Odinga? No. Have we had an engagement to discuss an alliance with Raila Odinga? No. I have met weekly for Paranya. Not once. And at no time did we discuss him being sent by Raila Odinga. Would you work with Raila Odinga again? <clears throat> Raila is the most formidable opponent that I have in 2022. And I do not know how the politics of Kenya would look like. Yeah? So if Raila Odinga would not be my competitor, who will be my competitor? Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.